Hello my friend, this is Sophia from sophiaoja.com and in this video series I'm going to show you how to connect your ConvertKit account with ClickFunnels. So if you're using ClickFunnels for any of your landing pages, opt-in pages, anything at all, then this uh, tutorial is going to help you. So, just to give you an overview, we will be connecting ConvertKit with ClickFunnels in four steps. First, you will prepare your ConvertKit account. And I'll show you what steps are involved in that. Then, step two, you will prepare your ClickFunnels account. Step three is when we are integrating the two, the two obviously referring to ConvertKit and ClickFunnels. And step four, I will show you how to test it out so you know that it's working for sure. All right, so let's jump into step number one. You're going to prepare your ConvertKit account. Now, let's create a scenario. In this scenario, just for example's sake, I want to connect a email sequence that is delivered via the ConvertKit account and I want to connect it to a ClickFunnels landing page. All right. So my goal is to, to have a series of emails being sent out to my subscribers. It's a free email course that is sent out to my subscribers um, once they opt in on the ClickFunnels page. So what are the steps needed for that? First, you're going to create and set up your tag and your sequence. So let me jump into my ConvertKit account and show you how to set that all up. So we'll first create the form. Now, before I go into that, let me just answer a concern. You may wonder, Hey Sophia, why do I need a form in ConvertKit? That's what that's what I have ClickFunnels for. That's where the opt-in is going to be. Well, think of it this way. ConvertKit needs to collect those names and emails through certain mechanism, and that mechanism is a form, all right? So this form that you're creating on ConvertKit is not going to be seen anywhere. So it doesn't really matter what style you choose, but you do need it because that is how ClickFunnels will tell ConvertKit um, where to put these folks. And you'll see why as you go through the remaining uh, videos, how that fits in. Okay, so you will uh, follow the, the logic behind this in no time. All right, so I'm going to name this form, and this is very important because the forms get too numerous and then we get lost in a sea of forms. So I like to name my forms so that two weeks later, when I'm not in the flow of, of what I did here, I'm able to identify it easily. So I'm actually going to call it, very straightforward, um, form to collect click funnels. Um, subscribers and the goal of course is my free email course okay and if you have several email courses you can specify it further and this way you're really helping yourself down the road okay everything looks good here um, these things really don't matter because everything is going to happen on click funnels um, what is important though is tab 2, incentive email, and I am using double opt-in and that's recommended. Uh, you can go for single opt-in, but if you follow the double opt-in recommendation, then this is where um, you need to put in a thank you page URL. So basically, uh, people will get this confirm your subscription email and once they click on the confirm uh, ideally you want to send folks to a customized thank you page and I've created something like that on my Squarespace site and it's uh, it's just says 
thank you, you're all set to receive the free email course. And I'll just grab the URL for that, jump back into ConvertKit and place it over here, okay? So this is important. Uh, this is a thank you page that folks get once they confirm their subscription. So that's the final step of the process. And I will say save form. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I want to deliver a free email course. Now, I have not set that up yet. So I'll go into sequence and I will create a sequence called free email course. And I'm going to create it. Of course, I'm not going to built it all out here. I'm just going to write here test and welcome email. So this will be useful when I'm testing. So and I'm going to say zero so that it's delivered immediately. The first email is delivered immediately after somebody confirms. I'm going to say save all. And there are a lot of other details about how to set up a sequence, but that's for another video. Let's just say you set up your sequence and it's called free email course. I jump back into my form that I created. So here is the form, form to collect ClickFunnels subscribers for the free email course. And that title is not going to be seen by anyone, so that's fine. I'm going to go into settings and over here on the main settings tab, the first one, I'm going to say connect them to the free email course and make the sequence mandatory for all new subscribers. And you would want to uh, check that and, and make it activated. What this means is as soon as somebody uh, confirms over here, they are going to be subscribed to the free email course and start receiving the contents of that sequence. And save form. Good. Now you also want to create the tag. Every form needs a tag in my world, the way I do things in ConvertKit. This way, everything is accounted for. So here I'm going to say um, free email course and I like to write where they came from and I also like to write that this is an opt-in free email course via ClickFunnels save and I should see that tag here opt-in free email email course via ClickFunnels ClickFunnels <laughs> Okay, so that's not all. There is another thing we need to do to prepare our, our site on ConvertKit, and that is to set a trigger. What we're doing here is we're saying as soon as somebody comes in through that form that we just set up, which is the form to collect subscribers for the free email from ClickFunnels, as soon as somebody comes in through that form, I want those folks to get a tag that says that they opted in from ClickFunnels, okay? And that they are receiving the free email course. So these are important pieces of information that you can put in the tag. Now tags are a way to identify behavior of your subscribers. So this is very helpful when you want to directly and targetedly talk to specific group of people inside of your ConvertKit account. All right, so the form is connected to the tag and already in the form settings, we connected this form to the sequence. You can also do it here if you, if you prefer uh, and not do it on the form level. It's really up to you, but uh, I like to keep it all uh, under forms so that it's 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 clear so both options work it's really about preference and save rule 
So my automation should be here. Form to collect uh, ClickFunnels subscribers for the free email course, and that's the, they get this tag. Okay, so let's check. Did we prepare our ConvertKit account? We set up the tag and sequence, and we created the form, and we set up the automation that connects the form to the tag and the sequence. And I also created a thank you page on my website for those um, who confirm their subscription. Okay, so we're all set with step one. In the next video, I will show you step two and how to prepare your ClickFunnels account for um, integrating it with ConvertKit. Thanks for watching. See you in, in, the, in the next video. Bye.